Hello you guys, it's Luca back here on YouTube again and today I will show you guys how to create an awesome tech house track with just the bare essentials. I mean, Fruit Loops own sample pack library. We've all been there, we've all played with those samples, but today I will show you how to create a really nice track with those. But before we go into that, one word from our sponsor, which is actually my own website, so I'm sponsoring myself. Um, on prodbud.com I will be releasing a pretty damn nice video series in a month or two six to seven videos on how to create an underground house track from start to finish I mean drums synths effects everything uh, I will be releasing the free loops files I will invite you guys to a, like exclusive slack channel where you can talk to other producers talk with me I will help you directly with your tracks and I think it will be a lot of fun so please sign up with, with your email and I will let you know as soon as the site is released. But yeah, let's go back to Fruit Loops and create a nice track. So, so before we do, I usually think, what BPM will my track be? And today I feel like 126. 126 is pretty chill. And also I'll, I would like a pretty deep, like, kind of evil track. Uh, maybe Tech House. I don't know, evil Tech House techno. So, okay, let's, let's dive in. So at first I think also how will the drop sound like? I will start off with a drop. So let's add a cool like synth for bass or something. Let's go with citrus. So I actually got a question on how I create that that super deep techno stab you hear in some of my tracks, <laughs> and it's actually really easy. Just open citrus, and I will show you right now. So what I do is I go to presets just go to the default preset and it will sound like this for you also and it's actually pretty easy what you do is you go to you go to op operator one and you just modulate the um, the volume and um, like this you create a stab out of it something like that and then we make a frequency modulation to track two here like that and track three it will sound a little bit weird and then we can go and higher um, this ratio to around eight delete those um, and we also uh, modulate the volume on operator 2 click here so you can edit it make the same basically you can hear it start to sound like something. Do the same on operator 3, delete, like this. Sounds pretty chill. And then we can also click D click to remove the little click you hear at the beginning of the sound. Yeah, like this, something. And now we can basically... If you want a fatter sound, you can modulate so it looks like this right click here and click double curve and you can make it fat at the beginning and then cut off so so you get more of this sound uh, and now if we play <laughs> uh, play lower notes it will sound like yeah pretty cool so but i don't like the long tail of this so you can lower it a bit uh, maybe here um, let's see here yeah, like that. Yep, and also we can add some voices to make it... Yeah, like that. Um, now we have a really nice techno, techno stab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's add some drums. I usually just start with the with the hi hats. To be honest. Um, so let's add some hi hats. As a swing. And you also usually. 
usually add some reverb. So open up the mixer, you can click F9 and it will pop up. Let's bind the hi-hat to a channel, like right click, channel routing, route to this track. And let's add the reverb, reverb 2. Max this one. Like that. It's pretty, um, you, you can also route this guy um, to his own channel. Let's add some rever reverb here also. Like that. <laughs> this is pretty cool actually. Uh, and let's add a small hi hat that rolls in the background to get the nice flow in the track. And space it out to the left and this one to right. Create a broad mix. I actually like this one a lot. Yeah, like that. Um, you can just experiment. Uh, I don't know. Maybe like that. And also, if you want, you can add some like rides. Like that. Fill over two steps. But let's mute this guy now. Let's find a nice kick. Um, so, too airy. I don't like these kicks, so how is it? <laughs> okay, let's just roll with one. This it's <laughs> this one is pretty cool actually. It's like super subby, but yeah, let's let's use this one. All right, what you do now is uh, sidechain um, this tab. So go to the kick, go to the channel, and just click on this guy, and you see this like string pop up. And when the strings pop up, just take away this. Um, and what it, it will do, it will link to this track. And then we go to the um, to the stab, and we add a limiter. So it is. It, it's exactly what it sounds like. It limits uh, the sound of the stab. And now, always add it under the reverb to also um, sidechain the reverb. So click on compression, add sidechain to one because we want sidechain. Lower the threshold, uh, up and this one, like this. Also the ratio, you should add a little bit, like this. <laughs> Can you hear if you wait? Go like this. That's a little bit too much, but... Yeah, like that, maybe. Um, it would be pretty cool to add some kind of... I just cloned this guy. Uh, I can just add it like this. It would be cool to add some kind of ARP or something. <laughs> so let's see, let's see what Citrus has. create something with this maybe let's try <laughs> like that I don't really like the long release of this is it Try some other sounds. Uh, I'm not a fan of those to be honest. Moogish. Yeah, this could work. You see that it like has this weird attack, so it's like, how do I say, like a brass. Let's delete that. Ah, wait. Wait. Ah, 
it's automated. Okay, so I think the um, let's see. Mod that could work, but I'm not sure. Let's try this. Nah, I'm not fan of this one. Yeah, this <laughs> this is such a classic sound. Okay, so I just deleted it uh, on pattern one. Let's add it to pattern two. So like this. Mm. And you see that it's linked to the same uh, mixer channel as our stab. We, we don't want that because that will uh, make like the same effects on both. So let's route it to its own channel. You see, pack and repeat. Let's also sidechain this uh, the same way as I showed you guys before. Compression, sidechain, threshold lower. Uh, this one higher ratio like that. Yeah, and you can always play around with those. You can add some like this. <laughs> Maybe like that. Let's add it to the playlist like this. Add track one to the playlist like this. Let's play it. It's too side chained. Uh, and I think uh, it would be nice to change it a bit, maybe. Nah. Yeah, like that, maybe. Yeah, like that. Um, and also, we can use maybe some of FL's own um, sounds in this. So let's see what we got here. Instruments. No. Orchestral, maybe. Adopt it. Um, legacy instruments. Pads. Oh. And what I do with the like samples that are like pads or something, I always right click and add it to a granulizer. And this lets you play around with the sound um, uh, in a different way. <laughs> Instead of just dragging it in and, uh, and uh, adding the um, notes, you can go to the granulizer and you get this uh, window. Always drag the hold to max and uh, it will sound um, normal. And then you can like adjust the start time of the sample. And I use this all the time, so this is really good. So... Oof, this is really nice. Let's add some ambience to this, uh, this one. Maybe like this. Uh, this is wrong key. Let's see if we can find the right key. And the problem with these samples are that we don't know the like default key of them, so we will have to listen. Yeah, D. <laughs> Could we do a chord? Why does it sound so weird? I don't know. Like that, maybe. Let's pan this to the right. Like that. Let's add some perks. And before we add some perks, let's bounce out this stab uh, to another channel. So just copy it, delete it. Pattern 3. Let's add it there, like that. And just uh, I'm not 
sure if I like the voices. Let's see. Uh, ah, let's just leave it. Let's let's make a cool beat. Uh, drums. Let's see what we have. Vintage. Um, drums. Maybe percussion. Ah, we don't have a clap. This is such an old school clap, 909 clap, so let's add this. I always like cut off a little bit of the end, just so it sounds a little bit like more snappy. Like that. And let's just drag it a little bit beforehand, so like this. So it's like a little bit before the kick. And you can go Yeah, let's do that later. So okay, now we've got this. Maybe we can add the right again. And what I do with rights is that I first link them to a channel like this. And then I add some side chain to my rights. Uh, maybe start off with some reverb. like this and then add a limiter and add some side chain compression like this it's too crunchy it's too crunchy uh, the stab. <laughs> uh, so let's just lower the um, operator to like that. Much better. Much better. Now we are on something. Okay. So let's add some more, more stuff. You can't ca create a nice techno track without small like things happening. You know. And when I do this, my creation process, I just just experiment and that's how you should do don't follow any like like t i don't know <laughs> not tips and tricks obviously watch me but always try it out things i mean and that's how you find i mean the cool stuff that's how you make your track unique that's i actually like this sound maybe add some reverb to this Maybe clip off a little bit with some EQ. Like that. <laughs> ah, I know what we're missing. We're missing some open hi-hat. So let's see. Where's the classic one? Yeah. I mean, we've all all heard this one before. Um, and what I also do is to make it a little bit more more fun. I usually clone my open hi hat, and then on the next one, I just lower the out a lot. So it's uh, every other hi-hat like this so the other one sounds a little bit like more muted this is also pretty cool 
uh, sound. Um, if you right click on your samples, you can click the graph editor and you can edit the volume um, or velocity on the samples without going to the piano roll. Um, like that. Let's also add some reverb to this because why not? <laughs> um, Yeah, like this. And now, maybe something more. Uh, we can also add a clap, like this, like every other beat or something. Wait, uh, this clap is so weak, I barely hear it, to be honest. Um, maybe we should add some other clap. Yeah, let's do that later. Um, all right, but beforehand, we can see if we can add some something more to make the track more interesting. <laughs> yeah, this could work. <laughs> this could work, I guess. Or we can actually do it like this. Just add it regularly. Lower the pitch. Okay, it's the same as the stab, um, maybe here. Okay, this, this doesn't work, uh, it was just an idea. I like this one, I like this one. Can we create something cool with it? Maybe we can. Um, reverb, I'm super fast right now, but you get the gist of it. Reverb Sounds like a whale, <laughs> you know that whale sound um, Let's lim... okay now I did something weird like that. Let's add a limiter to it. Whoops, I'm too fast for myself uh, Limiter, sidechain We all know how it's done at the... now, okay like this um, Let's see if we can I don't like how it like distorts. Maybe we Let's just add it, make it a little bit more muted. I'm not sure if this would work to be honest, but you can never know before trying. You can barely hear it, but I quite like it, I don't know. If we want, we can add some phaser or something. Nah, that sounds terrible. Uh, <laughs> Let's add this to its own channel, like this, one sec, like that. And now, we have something. Um, I mean, you could create a track with this, basically. Just copy everything, and how I do this is I click Control, just drag, copy, paste, you know, Control C, Control V. Um, okay, let's delete the kick. Uh, where's the kick? Here. Let's. I always add a kick to its own channel, like this. Uh, add it here, maybe. Let's maybe delete these guys. I forgot to clap, my bad. Oh, it's shifted in a weird way. Let's fix that. Okay, something went wrong here. But I'll fix it like this. Why is everything shifted? And I mean, this guy, th this is the star of the show. You know the stab? So. 
to create a real nice track that will make the audience go wild, you don't want to be a shower <laughs> with the cool stuff. You want to save the cool stuff. So maybe just like like this every fourth um, fourth beat. <laughs> Just clip, clip off at the end, maybe. Maybe like this. And as you hear, we don't really have a bass right now. It's just this guy, the stab. But I mean, we could create a bass also, or we should, we should create a bass. So. Let's try with a simple sub bass. So you can create it in any VST you like. I usually use like 3x oscillator. So let's add an oscillator. One second, guys. All right, I'm back, guys. Someone uh, just knocked at my door, so I'm back. Uh, <laughs> all right. So we have the 3x oscillator, and with this we can create some amazing stuff. So let's just lower the mix level of those, as we just we just need this one. Can lower the pitch like that, and it's <laughs> and it's done basically. If you want, you can always go in here, and you can add some mono. What this does is that it slides the notes. So if you listen now, you see how it clashes. But if you click this, it just slides the notes. Uh, so okay, let's let's go to let's go to this one. Just see if we can. Um... If we can create a nice uh, melody or something. Okay, let's uh, bounce this guy to his own channel, like this. Not it. Hide the volume on the stab. Maybe make this smaller and maybe add it like this. I don't know, this is also just about experimentation. Maybe we create a nice, like, a pulsating bass like this. And you can also make your own sounds with this. I mean, you can add some. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I won't go into that now because this is a video in, in itself, but you can cr uh, add some own uh, like um, shapes to this if you want. But let's try with another sound just to see what it sounds like. So let's go to Citrus and this time I will actually use a preset. So let's see what we have on the bass section here. Um, do, 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 do. Here. This is actually a really nice sound. This is actually a really nice sound. So this is real nice actually. Let's select and this is also a pretty good tip guys. So if you hold control you can select but if you want to con uh, select other things without selecting everything. You can select control, hold down shift and control and select again. 
And now let's make this a little bit smaller, like that. And uh, let's also add this to its own channel. Let's limit it, you know how it's done. Uh, side chain like this, because I think this will be. We need to limit this guy a lot more than the other one. So, yeah. And you can, I mean, you can fine tune things for ages, but. That's to the mixing phase, so <laughs> don't quote me on that. Uh, let's have it like that. Um, and also, now these guys will clash. I mean, we have the stab, and this is very. If you look at the, if you look at the EQ of this, you see where it is. It clashes with the bass, uh, and this is usually also how I. Um, make uh, my mix sound good. I always look at the the EQ and see where how the track is. Um, so what we can do is we can go to this sound, the bass, go to the stab like this, add it here Like that, and then we can open an EQ here also. This <laughs> quite inconvenient way, but you can you can see here uh, if you look at the EQ, the lower frequencies. I mean, the stab is here, but we also get some frequencies here. So what we can do is we can low cut this. So double click here, uh, or not double click, just one uh, one go, and you can drag it like this. And you can round off the shape with scroll wheel. Like that. You can also, also cut this one, but then we won't get like the high note. Uh, so let's just leave this one. Yeah, like that. Ah, uh, now we have it double. Let's delete this. This one gets lost. Also, this is, isn't really a mixing video, <laughs> so... It kind of gets lost in mix, but that's a video for itself. Yeah, and now to make this small track a little bit better, let's add some effects. Um, I think this already has some reverb, but yeah. Let's add some more reverb. And we can automate it. So lower the reverb, right click, create automation clip, and I just run, roll with default reverb settings. Let's make it higher. Um, maybe here, and then we'll lower it lower it before the drop to make it cool like uh, before the drop uh, thing so like this maybe and with this guy we can also add some um, filter check this to two lower the high pass lower the resonance and you have a low pass filter uh, right click create automation clip I can make it like so it's cut off in the beginning. And also with the stab we can also um, make an automation clip of the reverb like this and make them a little bit higher maybe as the time flows here. Uh, maybe like this and just uh, lower it here, like that, like that. And the Pac-Man pill, we can also add it some filter, I love filters, <laughs> that's my favorite thing. So same here, 
make it a little bit muted in the beginning. Build some tension. Maybe like this. I don't know. Ah, uh, and this pad, let's add it to its own channel, like the rest of the things. Um, like this, and let's make it... Oh! We haven't sidechained this, so let's sidechain. I will do this super quick, so you, won't, uh, you don't need to watch me for as long. Okay. Maybe lower the hi hats. Maybe like that. And um, I don't ro uh, normally roll with the hi hats um, in the beginning. So let's order the rights. So let's delete those. Uh, let's I add the hi hats to their own channel. Also with this one. Let's see. No, uh, wrong one. Uh, my bad. The rights, I mean. Um, like that, yeah. And let's add it here, maybe. We can uh, make a small break thing here, where we maybe make this one... Uh, a little bit higher and then cut it again. I don't know. Like that maybe. Ah, wait. I added the wrong pattern here. Uh, so let's add the right pattern here. Sorry about that. Have it rising. And that's it guys. <laughs> I hope you like this like techno song. Uh, it isn't the best, but yeah, it's it's gone 30 minutes and I think it's a solid like base for uh, for a song. So I hope you learned something in this video. I hope you took some inspiration from this and learned that experiment experimenting is key. So try stuff that you don't normally try. Add weird sounds like uh, like the one we added here, like this. And you can get a pretty cool uh, like um, how do you say a drum a drum beat. So yeah. Thanks for watching, please subscribe if you like this, please like the video, comment, uh, I appreciate all comments and the love I get, so thanks a lot, and if you don't like it, dislike it, easy as that. Uh, see you guys in the next video.